Hi, I'm David Fleming, and I want to welcome you to the YouTube channel of Disciples Ignited, where we focus on Jesus, advance his kingdom, and prepare his disciples. And talking about preparing disciples, I have written a series of books on discipleship. It's called Spirit-Filled Discipleship. It's full of content from God's Word that's going to help you understand what discipleship is all about. It's great for your individual use as well as a group use. It's going to be a great resource for you, so check it out on Amazon. You'll be glad that you did. Now, yesterday, we dealt with a scripture uh, that has caused quite a bit of controversy concerning prophetic ministry. Let me read it to you again. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 3. And I'm reading it to you from the NIV. But the one who prophesies speaks to people for their strengthening, encouragement, and comfort. Now, where the controversy lies is some people believe that that means that New Testament prophecy and prophets are only allowed to prophesy things that are very upbeat, encouraging, uh, comforting to those that they are speaking to. Now, this is quite different than the ministry of the prophets of the Old Testament that were often used by the Holy Spirit to give warning and even proclaim judgment to God's people as well as to other nations. So which is it? Is it judgment and warning, or is it just upbeat messages of comfort and encouragement? Well, I tell you what, it's really both. Let me read to you a little snippet from my third book of the Spirit-Filled Discipleship series that I hope will help to uh, make this more understandable. Any ministry that the Lord uses to encourage Christian growth will at times be used to address those issues that are hindering growth. Such was the case of every Old Testament prophet. They were used by the Lord to deal with the things that hindered Israel and their relationship with God so that their spiritual growth and maturity could be realized. To say that prophecy today can't deal with negative issues in today's society doesn't follow scriptural precedent. Scripture is full of prophetic rebukes that have the goal of leading people to repentance. A ministry that strengthens, encourages, and comforts will at times have to deal with unpleasant issues in a person or a nation. However, when the Lord does use prophetic ministry to deal with issues that must be rebuked, he will balance the rebuke with ministry that gives hope to the recipient if they are repentant. Notice how Jesus gave his, his disciples hope, even when he prophesied to them that they would all forsake him. Now, notice this is a prophecy by Jesus himself. We find it in Matthew 26, verse 31 and 32. Then Jesus said to them, All of you will abandon me tonight. Scripture says, I will strike the shepherd and the sheep in the flock will be scattered. But after I am brought back to life, I will go to Galilee ahead of you. Now, that was full of that which we would see in an Old Testament prophet as well as that which Paul says that a New Testament prophet is supposed to prophesy encouragement, encouraging comfort. So we see Jesus, the perfect example. He prophesied as the Old Testament prophets would, but he also prophesied according to 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 3, that which is comforting, strengthening, encouraging. So that tells me that New Testament prophetic ministry, even those that are called into the office of a prophet, oh, have the full gamut of scripture where we see that, yes, we are going to be used by the Spirit to encourage. We are going to be used by the Spirit to comfort. We are going to be used by the Spirit to, to build up but we are also going to be used by the Holy Spirit to address those issues that would hinder maturity, hinder growth. So, brothers and sisters, the issue here is let the Holy Spirit have his way in your prophetic ministry. Oh, don't be limited by the thoughts of man, but let the Holy Spirit use you according to the whole of Scripture. That is the Jesus way in prophetic ministry. See you next time.